All right. So we just finished Quickie World 2, and now we are moving on to Orcus. This is a beginner to lower intermediate range hack, I've been told, that's like uh, just really good. Like I've, everyone who's mentioned it, I haven't heard it, about it from as many people, but everyone who mentions it seems to love it. So I'm interested to check it out. Pretty excited. So let's get into it. I like the, uh, first off, I really enjoy the title music and like minimalist title screen. Thank you, thank you. Oh wow. Orcus must be stopped. Restore the bridge and put an end to his evil reign. Well, I'm coming for you, Orcus. Okay. I have a kind of open world here. The bridge. Is the bridge, uh, I'm guessing is missing switch things? Yeah. So I need to collect the uh, switches to to confront Orcus. It's kind of like a Zelda rainbow bridge thing, like the Ocarina of Time. You get the sages and then you get the bridge to Ganon's castle. So let's go in. World 1. The Eye of Abendigo. Let's check it out. Hmm. Oh, I gotta let him fall down more. Okay. Oh, I hesitated. Alright, so then I bounce off him, I go up to the coins, and I spin jump down onto the spiny. Got it. Oh no, the Koopa! The Koopa killed me! No, there's the H! Whoops. Alright, there's the H though. And the platforming is really satisfying, too. Yeah, you can skip him. H! Nice. Right into the spike. But we got the H. I have to kick him to the right and then bounce off him again. I see. Something like that. Yeah, like that. Okay. Gotta make sure I re-grab faster. Yeah. Alright. That's gonna go up. Ooh, I hit the spike. Almost. Okay. I got this. Okay, so I need to land on that, the one I missed. But don't do... Don't hold the button. Fall to the right. No, I, I need to skip the flying Koopa. I need to let him go higher. He's going up, and if I hit him, I won't be able to get over. So I need to use the small guy as like a, a, a buying time to let him rise so I can make it over that spike. And it looks like there's a falling platform. Don't jump. So I, got, I have to re-grab off that guy. That's the only way I'm going to make it all the way across, is if I re-grab off this guy, too. And then I have to do a big jump and let him rise, go to the left, and then jump over. And I think I'm going to have to jump as soon as I land on that other small falling platform. Yeah. I am the Kaizo Kid. I started playing, uh very recently, so technically I am the Kaizo Kid. And you're all my sensei. Oh. 
Yes! And we're in! <laughs> yeah. Uh, alright. Well, that was level one. That was pretty cool. Pretty cool level. The music is so good here. Alright, Specterwood. Ooh, I like the name. Let's check it out. Ooh, poison mushroom. Oh shit, that's solid. Okay. And the spiky parts hurt. Okay. So I need to like sneak in. Oh, okay, I hit it. I'm guessing I just need to like... Yeah, like sneak in. Oh, from the sky. Okay. Like already two levels in and it's just like aesthetically charming hack. Oh shit, so I gotta wait to the last moment and then spin jump over. I have some time there, okay. Ooh. Oh no, there's the H. I like that the H is between two flowers, that's really cool. So when I land on that platform, I just gotta do a low spin. And I should be fine. I will get that H. That H is my birthright. H! Oh no! He's trying to kill me! But I'm dead anyway. Okay, a lot of quick spins there. Oh, I have to go up high enough to hit the platform, but not high enough to go through the rope. That's tricky. And then I gotta jump for it. Okay. PB. Alright. Okay, so I have to fall onto that guy and jump to the right to catch the next one. Got it. Alright. No! I was scared. But there's the goal. So I just have to... Do I have to actually go down to where the shroom is, or do I go before it? Or do I just walk off? I just run off. And sometimes I overanalyze. Like, I'm too in my head right now, and I'm making, like, there we go. I just do it. Just do it. Yeah, and we're in. See? I just did it that time. Sometimes you think too much and you play worse. Yeah, got the goal though. Yeah. Alright, saving and Lake Ok- Okoda. Lake Okoda. Let's check it out. I'm digging the tunes. Oh no! Ow. Torpedo Ted, don't leave me. All right. Oh shit, throw a block. Wow. Okay, I gotta go fast there. No! I let go of the run button and it screwed me. But that was a good PB. And we're in! Nice! Oh shit. Yeah, shell jumps under pressure. 
Oh my god, and I have to grab a shell. Oof. Alright. Oh shit, I hit the spikes. PB though. Oh my god, another one? I hit Torpedo Ted with it though, before I died. Oh, goodness. Wait, do I have to run and do the shell jump and then get over? Or do I have to throw the shell jump up, catch it, spin off Ted, and then do a shell jump? I think I just have to run in and shell jump. Because I would stomp the shell if I did it the other way. Okay, just run and shell jump. Oh no! Close. Yes, and we're in. Goal. Ooh, that was tough, but it was really sweet to chain it all together. That was a cool level. Alright, save. So, there's not enough time, I think, I, to start this level right now, because I don't know how tough it's going to be, and there's just not a lot of time left in stream, so we're going to have to re resume Orcus tomorrow. Alright, so last we beat Lake Akoda, which is a very cool level. I also really love Specterwood a lot. Those were really cool levels. The first level was really cool too. The Eye of a Bendigo. So now we're moving on. And now we're going to tackle Valen Hall. Let's check it out. Alright, some saws. Oh, whoops. Well... Oh, I gotta jump. <clears throat> okay. But I gotta go quick, because now I don't have that saw. Is there a... No, okay. Oh, a spin jump. What am I thinking? H! Nice. Very nice. Alright. So that saw is gone forever. Can I respawn it? Yeah, okay. Oh, I hit the spike though. Alright. Oh, it falls off. Okay, so I gotta keep going. Oh, that one. So I have to get on the saw blade there. Okay, so then I ride the saw up to that platform, and then I jump across, and that next platform will fall down. So I'll have to react to that. Oh, I just gotta go fast. Okay. Well, oof. Okay. Oh, no, and I died anyway. I almost saved that, too. So you don't need that gray platform on the top of that saw section. Alright, there's the goal though, very close. Alright, here we go.
There we go. Got the goal. <laughs> Thank you for the GG. Alright, now we're moving on to Screaming Jungle. Let's check it out. This one has a secret too. Oh, I have to shell jump. Okay. H. Nice. This is cool. Oh, I didn't catch the platform. So I gotta spin through there and then quickly jump up to that, that other one. Okay, so I gotta jump out and then back in. All right. Oh, whoops, bad spin jump, but almost. Nice, okay. So there's the goal. I wonder where the secret is. Well, we got the regular exit. We'll have to go back in and look for the secret. Alright, save. Kaimuko Woods, you're gonna have to wait because we have a secret to find in Screaming Jungle. Thank you for the GG bucket, how you doing? Uh, I think it came out in 2021. I don't know how many people have played it. I don't really know much about how popular it is, but I do know that everyone who's recommended it to me has spoken very highly of it. And I've only played a few levels, like five levels now. And I have to say, they're some of the nicest levels I've played so far in Kaizo. Like, it's just like aesthetically super pleasing and the music is great. Just like the app. The kind of ambience of each level is cool. Like, there's a kind of thematic cohesion to them that's very interesting. Wait, is that leaf a different color? Am I crazy? These all have green leaves, okay? Hear me out. <laughs> Hear me out. I think I found it. I just have to get back over there. Ooh, it was a solid twig all along. What the heck? I could use a shell, but... Oh no, I hope this is a checkpoint. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, it's not a checkpoint. Lol. <laughs> That's too funny. That's actually hilarious. Alright, we're going back. I was gonna try to do a fancy key jump to get up there that I've been I've learned, but now that I know that's not a checkpoint, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mess with it. Yeah, that was pure hubris. I was gonna do my fancy little key jump. Here, I'll try it one more time. <sighs> okay. I won't tempt fate any further. Is that solid? Okay. So I need to do like a double shell jump 
kind of like a I throw the key up, shell jump, and then grab the key, right? And then jump into the kind of like a oh shit. I think I need to do that. Like I throw the key up, shell jump, and then jump and grab the key into the hole. But I can't do that now, so now it's all key jumping time. And now I'm dead. Because <laughs> I forgot to neutral the D-pad. So how's everyone's Tuesday? Any plans for a Tuesday afternoon? Oh, I almost went past the spot. Alright. God damn. Alright, here we go. Yes, got it. Okay. We're out. Alright, now we have two options. We can either do... Kesamian Hill? Hey, Macro. Nice. Welcome in, welcome in. And we have uh, Kaimuko Woods. What to do first? I think I'll do the secret first, as is tradition. So let's check out this level. Thanks for the GG's. Uh, a double shell jump. Well, <laughs> speak of the, the trick. Oh, I thought that was going up and over. Okay. Oops. Okay, so don't hit the shell. I have to fall underneath it, bounce up, grab it, go to the next Koopa, bounce off him, and shell jump over the next wall. And look, there's another butterfly stuck in the ceiling there. These poor, poor butterflies. I was gaming! And now I'm dead. Gaming is dangerous. Oh. No! I know I'm gonna need to bounce it off that wall too. Because it needs to hit that wall, and then I'm going to have to land on it again, I'm sure. Alright. Gaming. Gaming. No! Why, Shell? Just be underneath me. When I needed it most. So then I'm going to have to grab another Shell, and do another Shell Jump. So then I have to shell jump <laughs> off that wall, grab the shell, bounce off the Koopa, do another shell jump onto the platform, and be ready to do a spin jump at the very end onto this piranha plant. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I would, uh, I'm not gonna bet against that. I wouldn't, if you said I bet there are three more shell jumps after the piranha plant, I would, you know, I'd say it's not unlikely based on what I've seen. But I really do think, uh, Macro, that, like, as annoying as this opening is, like, if I just, like, bash my head against this wall, that's the only reason I'm improving. Like, the exposure to having to do this, as annoying as it is, is definitely making me better at it. Oof. Oh. 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 And that's an H? What the f- and I died on the piranha plant, of all things. But there's an H there. So this is half of a level. <laughs> okay. This is a, a half of a level. 
Well, technically, there's a whole level after the plant, so you wouldn't have lost that bet because everything that's after the plant could have a shell jump. So you're not you're not beaten yet. not puzzly. Oh, I was kind of hoping it was puzzly, not glitchy. But I was... Is there another hack that's like more one-room puzzles? Oh! H! We made it! Yes! Okay, and then I have to shell jump again. <laughs> Not this again. Alright. So... Wait, what? Do I have to throw it when I get to the coin and then bounce on it on the left side and then over? I'm not sure. Alright. Alright. Oh shit, I, so I have to fall on that one, not grab it. Right? And then it'll bounce and I have to land on it in the next bucket. Okay. So I want to jump off the Koopa and then throw the shell left, do like a left wall shell jump. Okay. Shell jump. The bucket. Grab this. Oh, I didn't jump. Okay, well there's no spikes on the next platform, so I hope that's where the goal is. Safe land in this level tells me that the goal is there. Damn. Alright. Yes! We're in there! Finally. Got the goal. I knew that had to be the goal because of the ground. The spikeless ground. Alright. Thank you for the GG. Now we get to move on to Kaimuko Woods. Let's check out Kaimuko Woods. Oh, some ri some dino torches. Okay. Thanks for the GG. Alright, so I gotta hit him there. And I gotta get over that spike. I can use my air time to manipulate this more. Alright. PB. Oh, okay. There is a Dino Rhino gate. So I have to make sure he doesn't crush me, and then I drop down, and I have to hit the turn block before landing on the Dino, and then bounce up. I think. Okay. Oh, okay. Got it. H. Nice. Do I have to go over there? Yeah. Oh, I gotta hit him and then go back. Got it. Yeah, like that. And we got a shell. Okay. Oof. Alright. Oh, Spike. PB. Okay. Alright, here we go. Alright, and we got a door. I like this little scene. In the door. 
And we got a boo. With a invisible... Some kind of laser. Oh, it's the ghost of all the rhinos I killed. Is it chasing me? Is it like locked on? Last block is right there. Okay. Nice. Okay. In the door. No yump. Damn, no yump. Thanks for the GG. Bridge switch. The power of the switch you have will have pushed will turn blank into full. You are one step closer to Orcus. Yeah, big nump there. Save and continue. What is this star? Oh, it just takes me back. Cool. So we finished world one. All right, which means it is time for world two. All right, now we're on Storval Rise. Let's check it out. Oh. Now I know. This has the vibes. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's not a pipe I can go in, but there's the H. Okay, I could have just got the H, but I tried to go in a pipe. Yep. But yeah, I'm always looking for new hack recommendations. I'll probably add that one you've been playing to my list at some point here. The uh, White Castle. Alright, H! Yeah, Mario goes to White Castle. I'll definitely check that one out too. Uh, this guy's not coming back, is he? Oh, wait. I died. Yeah, that seems good. Oh, shit. Oh, but if I spin, I won't be able to use the Koopa. Okay. Okay, so then I re-grab jump to the right, and then get above. Got it. Oh! oh. Alright, new PB. Uh, no, I, I use uh, just the Y button. I hold down Y. See, I'm never pressing L and R. Unless it's like a chocolate thing. Like motor skills or something. Yeah, this is uh, how I hold the controller with a piano grip. So I'm like tapping the buttons like this. That's a PB. Whew.
あっうーゴーイエスガーデッ That last jump was scary A little bounce there All right, that was Storval Rise. Next level's uh, Crystalline. So I'm still feeling a little like, I don't know, I haven't really woken up today still, and I don't think I'll beat the level in 30 minutes. Usually every level's taking me about 45 minutes to an hour today. So I think I'm gonna call the stream here for today and then uh, yeah, probably come back on Thursday and uh, get further in Orcus. So. Thanks everyone for watching. It was uh, fun. But uh, yeah, have a good one.